Hello everyone, this is Opster Gaming here. Today I'll be making a much different video to usual, and I'll be making a video on the Elgato HD60. Um, I have previously made a video on this in the past, a few years ago, on how to stop the mic from echoing on the Elgato HD60. Over 1,000 views, the comments, lots of people found it very helpful. And recently I decided to pull out the Elgato HD60 once again to possibly make some videos of Xbox games. I would like to try and buy the new 4K game capture but seeing as that one's up to like £400 whereas the HD60 whenever it was brand new first came out was about £150 it is very annoying. But, um, what this video is about is that red light that you keep getting on it. Um, I suspect it will flash red between two to six times. Um, I'm pretty sure that mine flashed six times. Um, I managed to fix it about a week or two ago. I've just made sure that I know what I'm talking about. So um, if you're having an issue with that and you don't know what's going on, You've plugged it in, everything is still not working. There's actually a very easy solution that a lot of you guys probably won't have even realised. I know I didn't until I suddenly realised that I didn't do it. But um, straight away, the first thing I'm going to say is Have you made sure to plug the old ghetto into your Xbox or whatever device you're plugging it into and your computer? Because of course you got to plug that in. Um, just thinking before I tell you what order it goes in. Always forget. Uh, I'm pretty sure it outputs from the Xbox to the Elgato, and then no, sorry guys, wrong way. Always get it wrong. Always get it wrong. Um, I'm sure you've got instruction manuals to read it and make sure you can even look them on the internet and sure you find it. But actually, it goes into the input of HDMI in the Xbox, then it goes into the Elgato, then the Elgato outputs to your computer. So that is the way that it works. Um, that might just be the simple solution. You haven't plugged it in right. Do make sure that you test out that. But I'm going to say one thing very quickly, which was my solution to the problem. Why is it red light flashing? I've tried everything. Have you installed the drivers? <laughs> Have you installed the old Ghetto HD60 drivers? As I know I thought I did. And then, in the end, I ended up going over a look. Downloading them anyway. I was sure that I downloaded them, but then downloading them anyway. And all of a sudden, bang, worked. Which meant I hadn't downloaded them. Or they were outdated. So definitely go make sure download them drivers. If you don't know where to find them, just go on to your browser and search in Elgato HD60 drivers and then you should find the official help at Elgato.com. On this you'll see all the drivers. The one which you will be looking for will be this one, Elgato Game Capture HD60. Then you just click on it and straight in there, yeah it works. So that's the easy solution to get your driver. Um, if you're using a different type of Elgato, um, I don't know if this video will help much. It might help a lot, might not. I don't have enough Elgato, so I can't tell you guys. What one I'd really like is to get one of these 4K ones. So, um... The only other solutions I can think of really is make sure that you have gone into your Xbox and got the right settings on. I know that sometimes, I can't remember what the setting was called on the Xbox or whatever device you're using. I'm using Xbox, that's why I keep saying it. Um, I know it's setting in there and if you use third party apps like Netflix and stuff, that actually blocks screen recorders and stuff. So you may have to change that setting possibly. Not sure, it should, I've never had an issue with it, but I know some people have, specifically PlayStation. I know that's had an issue with it, a lot of people, but 
Um, I'm sure you'll figure that one out if that is your issue. I'm just trying to think. The only other thing that I can say really with that red light flashing is if you still got it, you've tried changing around the wires, changing the inputs, outputs, tried all the different ways, hasn't worked. Try drivers didn't work. Try settings on your console stuff didn't work. Um, I'm sure there might be some other solutions possibly to it. I can't think of any. But um, if they're not working, there is a chance that your algorithm might just not be working. Um, definitely make sure before you decide on the fact that it's not working make sure that you try every single last thing that you can try out with it because you don't want to be going okay it doesn't work a new one and then realize that you just simply didn't try one of the methods and it actually works all along so that can be really painful so do not do that guys um, I hope this video is useful to you guys of course as I said if you're having any mic echoing issues do go check out my how to fix the mic from Echoin video. Um, I also have another solution for that video now, um, where the the mic was a bit funny. Um, if you're watching that and you're wondering why it is, um, it's simply just your live commentary. I had it up to 80, just turned on 50, and you go. So you gotta do it easy. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. Please feel free to comment down below if you get any questions or queries. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely hit that bell icon for more content. For now, peace out.